snow shoveling and slips on icy sidewalks can make it a tough couple of months. On our backs, Dr. Jared Greenberg and Craig Dopp from Meritor are here to explain some ways to help keep you healthy and injury free. Thank you so much for being here to the both of you. Yeah, pleasure. And there are a lot of winter sports that may be a little bit dangerous out there for injuries. Can we talk a little bit about those? Sure. Snowboarding is notorious for wrist fractures and that can be prevented most of the time simply by wearing a wrist guard. I've okay. never seen a, a wrist fracture in a snowboarder with a wrist guard. Uh, the other thing is that can be very dangerous in the winter time is sledding. I, I see children come into my office all the time with multiple spine fractures from sledding on a hard plastic sled and I really encourage people to use an inner tube that will absorb the shock uh, and decrease the risk of them hurting their back. Yeah, I've never uh, thought about that actually until this last winter when I went out and sled a little bit and it, I mean I got hurt and yeah. I got some bumps and bruises and my back was hurting afterwards so it's it can be dangerous yeah. out there and you definitely want to be safe. Absolutely. And there's some everyday activities that you do like shoveling things like that that can definitely be prone to injury and back problems and things like that. Correct? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, shoveling is really hard on your back. If you have back problems, you probably shouldn't be doing shoveling in the first place. If you have to shovel, those ergonomic shovels that have the handle that's angled work okay. quite well. That, that way you don't have to bend down as much when you're shoveling. The other thing is slips and falls on the ice. Those can oftentimes be prevented by just having common sense shoe wear on and uh, making sure that uh, your driveways and paths are all shoveled and salted properly. Okay, absolutely, and that's something that we have to take note to right now, especially because there's so much slush out there. We may be getting a little bit of snow tonight that adds to ice, so, you know, just please be careful on those walkways. What about when someone does fall or has an injury, when should they go to the doctor? Well, I mean, we've all had aches and pains, um, but uh, usually patients know when there's a different pain, a severe element of pain. Uh, occasionally, the pain will be radiating into an arm or a leg. It might be associated with neurologic injury, like weakness or numbness, or um, in very rare in instances, uh, sudden change in even bowel and bladder function. Obviously, these are things that you want to be able to uh, have assessed right away. And what can people do at home if they do have an injury but they think it's kind of minor? Uh, typically the, the standard, you know, traditional uh, rest, ice, anti-inflammatory, um, you know, see how things develop over the next couple of days is a, is a sensible approach to it. And again, um, you know, a back injury can be very scary, uh, especially if you're not sure what's causing it. So um, having a low threshold to call your primary care physician to see if referral to a specialist like Craig or myself would be indicated is, uh, is totally appropriate. Okay, great information. We will have this whole interview up on our website, NBC15.com. Thank you both so much for being here.